Okay, so welcome back you guys. Today we have another coffee unboxing video. Yesterday we unboxed this little machine right here. And today we have something totally different. So, let me get the box. Here we go. Let's just say free in-game content and more. Oh, yeah, Twitch Prime. Um, okay, so. Just got it. Just came to my door right now. I waited all day for this to get here. <laughs> I am falling asleep. I am so tired waiting for this. No joke. Okay. So. This one. Hold on here. is a Pamapic. Okay, that's the brand of it is called Pamapic. It is an electric K-cup maker. So, personal travel size K-cup maker. And it is electric, handheld. So, we're going to open that up and take a look at it. Let me show you the picture on the side of the box. So, if, if my light, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, it has all these parts and your little drinking cup here. But the, this is the part this right here is your water reservoir. Um, I'm not sure what this part is except battery probably right here, the very top, top lid. And then here's where your K-cup goes and then here's your drinking cup. So this one, uh, unfortunately, you guys, I got the smaller one on accident. So this is the 150 milliliter, which is like six ounces. And I meant to get the 250 milliliter, which is like eight ounces. So I really didn't do well for myself on that. Um, total accident, didn't see it till like an hour and a half ago. And it was already, you know, like six hours into the delivery. So <laughs> it was gonna be here. Um, so we'll see if it's too small. I don't, I brew an eight ounce. I think that's probably the best that I like for K-Cups is an eight ounce. But maybe this will be good for somebody else. I don't know. For my daughter is what this was supposed to be for anyway. Um, but, which is why I got something new. I didn't want to get her something that was broken. And yesterday's item did come broken. Okay, so, oh, that was nifty. So it opens up like a fancy watch. Did you see that? Boop. After you take out the package, that's cool. And then here's the products. They do a really good job with all this extra pet. This is so important, having it in, in plastic like this, because plastic will mold. It will grow like a, a dust fungus. So having that plastic wrapping is really, really important. I'm glad they do that. Um, nice little signature card. It says P-A-M-A-P-I-C, Pamapic. There we go, Pamapic. Pamapic. There it is. And the, the larger one comes in black, I guess. And I was like, oh, okay, but here's a white one. Last minute, I picked the white one. And the white one is the smaller one. So, um, so this is a very minimal little guide. It does give you a picture and some directions. So that's good. They, did, they made great use of it. Um, okay, so first off, let's see if there's batteries so I can see if I can use this with you. No batteries. But this is really dusty. Look at that. I hope this isn't a return. Look at all the gunk inside the lid. Like all in there. Like more all up in here. All around there. All around the lid. Huh. That doesn't leave me too much confidence. But I guess we'll look at it and I'll find some batteries. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. The needle for the K-cup right there. And then... Oh, yeah, that's what's really cool about this, you guys. This comes with your um, uh, refillable K-cup. Look at that. So it comes with one of these suckers. So I don't have, how do you open this one? I may have to read the directions on how to open this K-cup. There we go. So it just pulls off and fits right back on. Typical K-cup. So that's nifty. 
It's weird. These don't, have, oh, I guess because they drain here, they don't have a hole in the bottom. But there's a refillable K cup that comes with it, and they just fit right in here. There is a needle, so the refillable K cup fits to the side of the needle. Okay, so these little things, these little openings. So you have to line that up. And then once you do, it'll it'll level in there. If you don't line that up, it's not gonna set in there very good because this doesn't get punctured. Okay, so now you, now you guys know that. Okay, so <clears throat> there's the refillable K-cup. There's the top lid. Here's the K-cup compartment. It's just super dusty. And it shouldn't be after being in plastic. You know what I mean? It's like somebody has wiped this down with a black linen. You know, like a black dish towel. Do you see all that? Not cool. It's like all on there. Yuck. Anyway, um, and then here's the cup itself. We'll see how much that holds in a second. I'll get a measuring cup. And what else comes apart? That's it. So the batteries go, yeah, at the top part. This lid goes here for the batteries. Then you push this when you're ready. Where is the water? Oh, okay. So this comes open somewhere here. This is a reservoir. Yeah, okay. So here's the res. <laughs> okay, we got it now. Let me show you like the picture. Okay, so it's in its wibbly wobbly stage because I've got it taken apart. So there's the lid. And this is the battery and power compartment right here. Okay, and the power compartment. Boom. Here is the water reservoir right there. Just, just a slight small little hole on, it, on the inside. But a nice needle there, so that works. Lining that up okay so you can see it. There we go. And then we've got the K-cup reusable. We've got the K-cup holder. And then we've got the water cup. I mean the coffee cup. The receiving cup. So there's all the parts of it. Okay, so I got some batteries here. I think I've got the right size. I think these are AAA that it needs. So let's go ahead and put some AAA in there. Whoops. Okay, maybe it won't be so noisy once it's put together, but it's noisy. Okay. <laughs> so right now it's noisy. Um, I see this fits on top of the reservoir so now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse everything because there is a seal in here way deep in there I'm gonna take that out a little white seal in there you can kind of see that and I'm gonna wash that I'm gonna wash everything and then I'll be right back okay so now everything has been washed and um, I'm not going to be using the refillable K-cup. I'm going to go ahead and just use a K-cup because um, I want to see how that works. You know, I mean, I can always test out the reusable, but the whole point is to see if this really does work with the K-cups. Um, yeah, because that's really the whole big idea about this. But um, I've gone ahead and put the lid back on the top here. And this part. Did I rinse this out? Oh yeah, I did. So I washed everything because there was so much, you know, little black dust specks all through everything. And honestly, you guys, this was in plastic and it was sealed completely together like this. What should be inside of it? Anything? No, of course not. So to me, that says that it was return. Um, a model or something and it got wiped down with only goodness knows what kind of black you know fuzzy cloth hopefully not a pair of socks you know that's disgusting so you know in a sense that's my worst case scenario I'm like oh my god what if somebody wiped that down with a pair of socks 
you know, <laughs> buy her socks or something. Because dish towels are usually white. Um, usually. So, you know, I'm like, who would do that? But, but something, because it left black lint all over everything. You know, and if it came to me in plastic and sealed together like this from the factory, supposedly from the factory, then why would it have any lint inside of it at all? Right, you guys? I mean, I don't think they can sell products like that legitimately. Um, I mean, that's a real belief that I have. I don't think that they're supposed to. So I think this is a return. I've had that happen a lot this year, 2017, 2018 with buying from Amazon. I am getting products that, you know, because they're a return, it's like Amazon fulfillment goes, it's new enough, it's like new, we're gonna sell it like new, because, you know, it only had one owner, it got returned, it may have a crack in it, maybe it's got some black lint in it after we wiped it out with our black socks, but, you know, we're gonna sell it again, it puts together and looks just like the picture, so it's new. <laughs> I mean, that is just what seems to be going on. Um, really bad. I, I, I don't think that that's good at all. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get some water. I Oh, I have to boil water first. So let me go ahead and boil some water, and then we'll try out a K-cup. We'll assemble this, and we'll see how it works. Hold on. Okay, let's see how much water this holds. So, here's the cylinder for the water. This is the actual, um, what's it called? The um, reservoir for the water, the water reservoir. So let's go ahead and put some Dasani in there because that's what I've got today. Um, and I assume we fill it up to that line right there. Right, right guys, that's the line we fill it up to. Oops, it's leaking out the bottom. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay, so that's three-fourths of a cup. Let me go ahead and show you. That comes to three-fourths of a cup. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up more water than that, of course. But um, that's how much we'll be pouring in there when we are ready to brew. Give me just a minute. Okay, so we are ready here with our... Um, it's ready to brew. Basically, we've got our hot water and we have a K-cup. We are going to use the um, Starbucks Toasted Graham. It's a delicious little coffee and, you know, I think it'll be great to try that this evening. I'm not going to use the reusable K-cup because I don't feel like it tonight. I want to see how the K-cups work with this. So that's what we're going to be using. Here's how to use it. So first off, you put your batteries in this compartment and then you twist the lid on. The silver part is the lid that's removable. So after you put your batteries in, you know, put the lid on. Those are the first two pieces you put together. And then set that aside next to your um, water reservoir. And here's your water reservoir. It has the big needle on the bottom to poke the cake up, okay? And then this is the cake up holder um, and that go will be going underneath. Okay, and then this is the um, actual drink cup, so that's what this fits into. So basically, we could put this together right now. So that's one last step, because it does start leaking water as soon as you fill up the reservoir. So you want to have it ready, um, so you don't spill water, hot water anywhere else. You set the cup in there, okay, and you have to manually press it down till it's level, okay? And that means it's on the needle, it's been punctured, it's ready to be brewed. Um, so there we go. Now all we have to do is put the water on top of this part. There we go. So you slide it down, press it, and then give it just a little twist, little twist. And then this will go on as soon as we put the water in. So what did we say we needed? About three fourths cups of water. Let's get that in here and see. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can measure afterwards, right? So let's go ahead and fill that up with some hot water. Whoops, I did too much. That's about right. 
right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this on top now that this is filled up to the right amount. Can you see that? There we go. And now we just go ahead and twist this on. Gotta line it up really good first. Why am I a little awkward with this? Okay, come on now. Did I get it on there? Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, now let's go ahead and press on. Oh, I just figured out this isn't clear. I won't know when it's done. <laughs> I'm not going to know when it's done. Let's see. I guess we can open up the bottom here. Oh, it's working. No, not that part. Definitely not. Here. Let's open up this bottom piece. Ooh. That's not the piece I wanted to open. Okay, so basically we just have to let it run its course. I hope I didn't mess up the whole brewing process just now. Oh, it feels warm in that cup. Oh, I see it. I can do I, You can see the level through there. Just barely, barely, barely. Done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Go ahead and open this and then we'll go ahead and open this part maybe huh let's see how much I got out of that I may have to brew twice Maybe that's what we've got to do here because this is a one cut measuring cup. We've barely gotten six ounces. So I would need to do another two ounces to get eight ounces. Oops, it's got to go in the top part of here. So oh, let me wipe it off and we'll reassemble it and we'll try to get that last two ounces. Okay, so this part's together. That's what I was trying to do was remove this from this, but it was hard to do once I had it all together. I'm not putting that together this time. Just going to do this part. Be about two that's a little more than two ounces but I'll be able to see as it comes through okay and presto and there it is dripping you can see it can you guys see it brewing basically you're watching the K cup work yay and you've got the, the control to turn it off when you're ready to. Okay, I think that's going to give me my eight ounces. And wait for it to finish, I guess. After you turn it off, you'll hear that little noise. Let's see what I got out of there. A little more than eight, about nine ounces. But um, that's a nice K cup. Nine, eight to nine ounces is perfect. Okay, so now let me go ahead and make that in a coffee cup and we'll see how it is. I don't think it's going to be that messy. <laughs> I think this is user error pretty much today. So hold on just a second here. 
Okay, so I have the cup that I've been using for the videos. Let's go ahead and pour it in. That's nice. You guys saw the color already. Let me give it a taste and we'll see what we think. It did very well. It did a very good job. So I'm pretty impressed with it. That's a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> But I am going to return it and get the one that's 250 milliliters. This one's only 150 milliliters and it's not going to suit me. As you can see, I was worried about the water level um, the whole time. It only brewed six ounces on a full um, carafe the first time I had to do, brew, give it a second brew of a smaller two ounces. That's just work I don't want to do um, when you're using a K-cup. You know, the whole point of paying for a K-cup is all that convenience. So, you know, even in these little products that we get to, tr to substitute um, when we're out and about or because we want a cheaper brewer, K-cup brewer, brewer um, we still want some advantage with our K-cup. And I don't think that gives me enough because six ounces is just 150 milliliters is not enough for a K-cup. It just isn't. Unless you only like a six ounce K-cup. The 250 milliliter, which is the eight ounce, would be perfect because then I can brew an eight ounce or a six ounce, you know, which is typically what I go back and forth from. So um, what I'm saying about this thing is <laughs> this little item here. Let's see, it's the Pama Pick Portable Espresso Machine. Um, portable, I'm going to call it a portable K-cup machine. And what I'm saying about it is that it's great. It works well. It's too small. Um, it's just one of those things. I had it open in two tabs. I had the white open in one Amazon tab. And I had the black one open in another Amazon tab. This one was 150 milliliters. I was reading on the other one, but I was also talking to the Amazon guy and, um, you know, through all the confusion of being on the phone with Amazon and doing a return and everything else, um, I picked the wrong size. So this will be going back. I will be getting the other one. It is a great little machine. It brews an excellent little K cup and I'm sure it'll do the same for the, um, refillable K cup as well. I think it's exactly what we're going to want. Just going to get the bigger size. That's it. Okay. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Blessed be. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, if you're looking for more, go ahead and click the image in the center. That'll take you to all my playlists and you can find me on my social media in the description below.